Hey, what's up you guys? Century Productions here, and I am gearing up for October. Uh, maybe some of you guys know, maybe some of you guys don't know, but throughout the course of the month of October in the Articulated Comic Book Art Group, they have a set of themes that are for each day of the month of October. And basically it's like an endurance photo contest kind of deal where, you know, you try to do all 31 days and interpret all 31 themes uh, in your own way. And I've done it the last two years and I usually get pretty excited about it. Um, it's definitely a really hard run of photos. It's a photo every day for all 31 days of October, if you can do that. And I've done that the last two years. So I'm kind of gearing up and getting some stuff ready. It's currently about a week before October or October starts. So I've kind of written down all my themes and I've kind of set some stuff up and I'm just gearing up to get it all ready to go. Uh, try to shoot a couple days in advance and then just keep on grinding and grinding until <laughs> it's uh, uh, the, the end of October. And it's kind of rough, but I have a lot of fun. I definitely develop a lot of skills throughout the month. And uh, like I said, man, it's an endurance kind of competition to see if you got what it takes to do all 31 days. And and uh, I have a lot of fun doing it. So right here, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I have planned for the first day's theme. The first day's theme is Here We Go Again. And um, you can interpret that any way you like uh, with any toys that you like as long as it's art uh, you know toy photography articulated comic book art uh, so what I've decided to do here is I've been sitting on this cutout for a while now and obviously it's Professor Oak and it's gonna be a little cutout so what I've done here is I've just glue sticked it to the back of a poster board from Hobby Lobby I'm gonna take this X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna kind of freehand cutting this all out. And I won't show you guys all that boring um, cutting and everything like that, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how I usually do the cutouts. Now this one doesn't look like it's gonna be too hard, so I guess we'll cut to me getting it done real quick. And voila, we got the cutout all done of uh, Professor Oak from Pokemon. Uh, so I lost my train of thought when I was originally shooting the first part of this, but uh, the theme for the first day of the competition, I guess I'm just going to start calling it a competition, is here we go again. And my idea uh, for that theme is, you know, back in the day when you're playing Pokemon on your Game Boy or uh, whatever you were playing it on, uh, how you beat the game and you're like, damn, this game's hella fun. Uh, so I'm just going to start it all over again and, and play it again. So that was my idea. Uh, my caption is going to be something along the lines of like, when you beat the game and you restart from the very beginning, here we go again. And then I'm going to have the, obviously the three starter Pokemon uh, to the left. I have the uh, battle figures from, uh, oh man, who uh, makes those jazz wares. And uh, it's going to be a nice little fun scene. So let's just cut to that right away. But yeah, that's the idea for the first theme. And uh, I'm pretty stoked on it. I think it's going to be great. And uh, this cutout's looking really good. Usually I hit the cutouts with a black marker. But when the, there's some kind of white attached to it, like the white lab coat, sometimes the, the marker will bleed or the Sharpie. And then you just got a big mess on your hand. So I think just this by itself will end up working out just fine. So pretty cool. All right, and here is the cutout put into the picture. Uh, my idea behind this picture, uh, the theme for today is, uh, for day one at least, is here we go again. And my idea was, uh, you know, when you restart the, the game Pokemon, you got to pick your starter. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a Bulbasaur figure, so I threw Pikachu in there, and I'll, I'll kind of title the caption along the lines of, like, Gary took my favorite starter Pokemon, so Pikachu snuck in or something like that. But anyways, I, I really like this, um, this shot. We're using lots of cutouts here. This is a cutout right here. All these trees in the background are all cutouts that uh, I did a long time ago, you know, other than the Professor Oak, which we just saw me create. Uh, so I'm really digging this. Uh, I upped the saturation, put some backlights, had to make sure I got my background really nicely lit. And, uh, you know, when you up that saturation, the colors just really pop, especially when you're doing like any kind of anime kind of shots, you know, that style is very vibrant. So 
that's kind of what I wanted to capture here. But yeah, day one is down off the books uh, and uh, we're going to move on to day two now. All right, so we're on day two now. The theme for today is Mean Me Up Scotty. Every year uh, during October, they always do some kind of theme that revolves around memes where you can either make your own meme or recreate a meme or put a spin on a meme. So this year I decided to do the sad Keanu meme uh, from years back uh, using a John Wick figure, uh, the Mafex John Wick. This was actually gifted to me a, a couple years back by my buddy Bever Clever on Instagram. So thanks a lot, Brett. I still love this figure. I think it's great. It was kind of hard to sit him on this bench. This bench is from uh, Juice Tins Customs, I believe, on Instagram. I might have got that name wrong. I'm not 100% sure. But it's a really cool bench. It's obviously a bench with the Better Call Saul uh, ad on it. So it's pretty cool. It fits with most uh, six inch figures, even though this John Wick is a little bit under that six inch range. Uh, but overall, I really like this shot. Uh, sad Keanu, you know, uh, it's that paparazzi photo of him looking super sad eating a sandwich. Unfortunately, I didn't have a sandwich prop to give him, but I did put a couple other props in here. You got the little uh, soda right here. There's a pack of cigarettes right there. Uh, there's a newspaper, uh, some garbage cans back over here, some greenery over here. Uh, just all in all, I think it's a really cool shot, and I think it's kind of like a double meme. You know, it's a Better Call Saul meme with uh, the sad uh, Keanu meme. And then on top of that, it's a triple meme because it's John Wick, which is the only Keanu Reeves figure I had. So overall, really happy with this shot. I think it's really dope. All right, so we got an extremely simple shot here. Uh, just like four different items and the Peter figure and you got yourself a shot. So the, the theme for this one is DC does it best. So obviously they're talking about DC characters. But here we have Spider-Man. Uh, what I'm going to do with this one, I just thought this would be really funny, is I'm going to take a screenshot of someone posting a video or a picture online of the Batgirl movie that was canceled, the $90 million Batgirl uh, movie, and uh, I'm just going to panel it together with this shot, kind of like, you know, Peter's making fun of, hey, they canceled that Batgirl movie, uh, yet Marvel is still around making hella movies. Uh, so DC does it best. I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that's funny, but yeah simple shot Not really too much going on here, but I thought it was funny All right, so we're on day four now today's theme is curious combinations this is a theme that I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out an idea for I was thinking of like scientists, you know, them mixing liquids and test tubes and stuff. So then my mind kind of went to Reed Richards here. And my initial idea was actually going to be him, like I said, uh, mixing test tubes. But then as I pulled the figure out and I was looking for different white hands, I came across that, that Johnny Storm hand right there that's like half on fire. And then it just clicked in my head. I was like... Oh, dude, uh, the Fantastic Four characters swapping powers. You know, Reed's always up to something in his lab, and they've swapped powers before in the movies, the comics. There's been tons of instances where they've exchanged powers or merged powers. So uh, I just thought to myself, you know, I think that's a good fit for the theme of Curious Combinations. Now, this shot in my head was, it seemed really simple, but... The more stuff I added to the shot, and the more layering, uh, it, the the harder and more complex it got. This uh, cutout right here, I just thought, oh, I'll use this cutout. I cut this, I sourced this comic and uh, this cutout uh, probably close to a year ago, and I just have never found a use for it in a shot. So when I decided to do this, I decided to use this cutout. But this cutout was kind of tricky to work with because it's in such a small area. Now, obviously you guys see all the lights and everything on the sides here. So the framing is going to be a little bit more like right here. Uh, so I had to work within the frame of the actual cutout. And then when I'm using that background, it's 11 by 17. You can see how small that is too. So everything has to be really 
close together and concentrated and then you have to work on your f-stop because I don't want this cutout really in focus and I also don't want that background really in focus so I just want the two figures really in focus so I had to work with a really low f-stop here I think it was like 3.2 or something like that just to get that good blur in the front and the back but enough focus on the two figures so that it worked out and then we can also see this little light right here I tried my best man to, to light up his hand but it just wasn't really translating too good I think that this light down here this bottom one actually lights up his bottom hand a little bit more but yeah it's Reed and uh, Johnny switching powers and uh, overall I think it came out pretty good it's kind of a really busy shot so you know with October it, it, not all your shots are gonna be winners unfortunately but I am still happy with what I overall did here so we're just gonna keep moving, keep going forward, and move on to the next day. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see what the people think of this when I post it. All right, so we are on day five now, and today's theme is Mad Props. So you, like I've said from the beginning, you can interpret that any way you want. The first thing I think of when I hear mad props is I think of a bunch of like your little 1 12th scale props that you use for a lot of your shots. So initially I was kicking around the idea of using like a bunch of kitchen accessory props in the Muppets playset Swedish Chef kitchen that I have. But I realized that I had all these little comic cutouts. Now a long time ago when I was perusing uh, comic books online, every so often when you come across like a notable comic. In the back they'll have a promo or an advertisement of a bunch of the covers of a comic. And what I would do is I would download those images and then I would print them out to about the size of a comic would be in the hands of a 1 12th scale figure. And then I would glue them to a poster board and cut them out. And I did that for a while. It, they're kind of hard to come by because if you wanted to you could technically just look up covers and then rescale them but that would be a super tedious process to do and you would have to go through a lot of comics do a lot of research so the fact that they were kind of all collected in a promo image so that I could just easily scale them and cut it out kind of helped me out a lot so that's what I've done here all of these right here are all uh, 112 scale comics or close to it they are kind of different sizes if you really take a look uh, but I just, like I said, I glued them to a poster board and, and just um, cut them out, and that way it helps retain like a little bit of firmness, so it's not just like little pieces of paper that can easily get, you know, crumpled up and stuff like that. So this ended up working out pretty cool. This is my idea of mad props, something along the lines of like when your comic book collection gets a little out of hand, and then of course we're working with the new Marvel Legends Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, which is a terrific figure. I absolutely love this figure. And uh, I just wanted to do something with him, and I had the idea of a character laying on top of all the comics, but I didn't know who, and then I just got this figure yesterday. So, it ends up being pretty dope. It's kind of a hard little shot. I'm working on the floor here. I hate working on the floor. I hate shooting from this angle. It just kind of hurts your back a little bit, and it's hard to really get an in-focus picture because the camera's at such a strange angle, but I played around with it, I took the time, really uh, tried to get everything in focus, and I think it really came out here. And it was also kind of hard arranging the lighting so that there wasn't a glare on any of the cutouts. That's the real key to this. Uh, so I think in the picture that I actually produced, I don't think there's any gla glares. I think absolutely everything in the picture's in focus. And some of my all-time favorite comics are in here too, man. You got... Um, uh, Days of Future Past, you got Civil War, um, you know, Infinity, uh, there's all kinds of good stuff in there, so it's like kind of an Easter egg filled shot, so lots of really cool stuff in here, and uh, you can definitely take some time and, and find some cool stuff, so yeah, I'm really happy with this shot and how it came out, and let's check it out. All right, so we're on day six. The theme for today is it's a tribute. This is actually my second idea. My first idea, I was going to have Beta Ray Bill giving Thor his hammer, but I was waiting on a cape from someone on eBay, and I think the cape actually got lost in the mail. So I switched it up, and I did this. This is an ode to Bug Nice, who does a lot of white hot shots. 
which are not easy by the way, they're actually really hard to do. Uh, if you actually take a look at this setup, there is probably like eight or nine lights focused on the figures, focused on the cutout, focused on the background to really get that infinite whiteness uh, for the shot. And then of course, uh, in true book fashion, it's either something funny or uh, something simple but with really nice posing. So I really wanted to dial in the posing for this shot. And basically it's just Cap pointing at Spider-Man who's doing push-ups being like, hey man, nobody likes a quitter. The cool thing about this shot that uh, I don't really do too often, but it's always fun to play around with is, you know, when you're working with cutouts, of course you can use the cutout and attach it to the figure's head using tack or something like that, but there's actually another way that you can attach a cutout to a figure and make it look like it's actually floating in air. And that's just take a clear piece of plastic, either from an action figure packaging or, or something, and you can attach it to the back of the cutout and then attach it to the figure and it actually makes it look like it's suspended in air. Uh, as long as your background is super lit and it's uh, a lighter shade of either yellow or white, it's uh, something that uh, a buddy of mine, Alex Richardson, on Facebook and on Instagram does. Uh, we call it the Richardson method and basically it just makes it look like it's floating in air so hopefully that effect comes through on the pictures end. It, you might be able to see it a little bit but it's only really there if you're looking for it so that's kind of what we did with this shot I wanted to switch it up with the cutout a little bit and add just a, another layer to it make it look like it's floating up there so really cool shot let's check it out All right, we are on day seven now. The theme for today is redemption. My idea for this shot was to have, you know, uh, Spider-Man and Sandman kind of, you know, fist bumping. Uh, basically, it's Spider-Man being like, hey, thanks for the assist letting me take down Shocker. I don't know what it is about the character Shocker, but in all the ACBA shots, he always gets his ass beat for some reason. You rarely ever see the Shocker actually uh, beating or besting someone else so I was just continuing with that theme and having Shocker uh, getting his ass beat once again but now this time it's a team up between Sandman and Spider-Man. I would have to say that Sandman, uh, William Baker, uh, Flint Marco, whatever you want to call him, he's probably my all-time favorite uh, Spider-Man villain. I know there's like a lot of greats out there, Green Goblin, Doc Ock, just to mention a few, but Sandman has just always been a character I've gravitated towards and in the comics you know he's been a thief but he's also been a hero. He, you know, he was on the Avengers at one point, uh, so you know he can kind of, you know, flip flop either side. And even in No Way Home, you kind of saw towards the end that he was actually starting to end up being a, a, a hero. So that's kind of why I wanted to show here. And uh, we got this cool little alley set up with uh, uh, lots of little props, and then of course Shocker's all tied up using some of the web accessories and then some spaghetti webs I got from uh, my buddy Greg way back in the day. Uh, so lots of cool little props here. I like the lighting a lot. The diorama definitely helps with that. Diorama's from Jedi John Singer on Instagram. So yeah, really fun shot and uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep, uh, keep on going, man. So let's check this one out. All right, so now we are on day eight. Today's theme is panels, please. And in the ACBA community, a panel is basically just like a comic panel. You know, it's multiple pictures kind of put together so that it tells a story throughout the panels. I've done tons of panel shots before. I've said this in previous videos, but I use pages on my Mac in order to like configure the panels and it works out really nicely. Uh, so I really do like using those. So this is actually the last panel. The first two panels I didn't really take a video of because it's kind of hard to uh, video uh, tape these panels. It's just kind of weird. Anyways, this is him catching a bullet. The previous panel to this was an actual bullet trail, which I have right here. You can see that's tacked onto a little flight stand and it's a bullet trail and it was basically aimed directly at his hand and he was rocking the open hand right here uh, and then the first panel was just them standing there so it kind of tells the story of they're standing there who knows why they're standing there this is definitely Dark Avengers inspired Dark Avengers is probably one of my all-time favorite comic books so anytime I get the chance to do something with Norman Osborn and any of the members I will 
because I love it. I think it's great. So the story is basically they're standing there. Someone shoots a bullet trying to kill Norman Osborn because he definitely deserves it. And Sentry, who is the biggest badass of any superhero of all time, we all know that, and there's no arguing that, uh, just catches the bullet midair because that's super badass. This was actually an idea I wanted to do way before October. But the cool thing about October is sometimes the, your previous ideas actually fit into the category of one of the themes. So that worked out. Panels, please. This is a very very simple shot. We just got a little cloud sky background back there uh, that you get from Michaels. Make sure to put some light on the background. Make sure to put some light on these figures. Of course I'm working with the panel minis from Loom Cube. Probably my favorite lights of all time. And uh, yeah, it, it doesn't really take much guys to, to tell a really cool story. All you need is a background, some decent lights, and maybe a couple effects kind of like this one. So. Pretty cool. I got these effects from uh, Black Symbiote on Instagram. I'm not sure he's still selling them, but they are awesome. So yeah, that is Panels Please. Let's check it out. <laughs> 